morning, Rusty here. Just been out for a walk with the dogs down by the river Dart. On Dartmoor, would you believe? Up on the top, it's howling. You can't hear anything. The wind is really whistling. And I've been asked to do a short video on the reality series, SAS, Who Dares Wins? Of course, for those who know me, I'm a background. I did my selection quite a long time ago and then moved into the media once I finished um, in the forces. Of course, I've worked with some legends like John McAleese, Eddie Stone, and that's it put and helped with SAS Are You Tough Enough? which was a great series and well put together. But the guys who did that, when you mentioned SAS, were actually SAS instructors. Unfortunately, with Who Dares Wins, in my opinion, you have Special Forces guys, it's called SAS, Who Dares Wins, when in fact, in my opinion, there's only one of them, which is Billy Billingham, MBE, that's actually been in the SAS. It's a shame I'm not picking on anybody, but from what I've seen and what little I've seen of it, I don't make a point of watching it at all. However, a lot of the events I've done, including the one I asked in Billy yesterday, a question always pops up from somebody, what do you think of the reality series, SAS, Who Dares Wins? I've just given you my answer that isn't going to change. It gives the impression to me that SAS selection is easy. Anybody can do it. And of course they can't. In my day it was about 10% past. So I'm looking at it from a perspective of this guy who's been there and done it. I'm also looking at the people who've been there, done it and failed and some cracking people amongst them. Unfortunately, what you see on TV is, oh yeah, past failed, no. Wrong. The real selection takes you six months. In total, all that includes everything, day in and day out, followed by jungle training and the rest of the stuff. That is where you get worn down, your body is worn down day by day. People fall by the wayside, not in a nice cushy place up in Scotland or anywhere else where they do the reality programs. As I say, I know what happens, I've been there and done it. However, for some people who like that type of thing, it's great for them to watch on a Sunday, I think it is. Um, I'm watching paint dry at the same time, but that's just me. And of course, people will think I have a real bee in my bonnet. Well, I don't. What I would like to do is point out that for all that sweat and tears that have been over the hills, fail or past, respect. Some of them no longer with us. Respect. The people on TV that want to go on there and look the part, fair enough. The civilians that want to watch that as part of re reality TV, fair enough. We're all different. However, I have a point of view and nobody will stop me putting my point of view across. And it is, I will never watch a whole episode, let alone a series. Until they get it right. In my opinion at the moment, it isn't right. There's so much wrong with it. Okay, I haven't got time. In a few minutes, I've got this video to put together to go through it step by step. So over the next few weeks, as long as I can, if you can subscribe to my video tube, I'm going to try at least once a week, at least once a week, to put SAS related stuff on there to give you some idea of the real world. Unfortunately, reality TV takes over and they paint the picture that anybody can do it. or well, they can't, and I've said that before. So I hope it gives you just the first insight. Yes, I could go on picking holes in it. I'm not here to do that to give you my thoughts on that particular um, program and to be honest that is it they'll never change until they change the concept 
and try to get it right. But in that case, you would need SAS instructors to talk about SAS selection and who goes wins. Thanks. Bye for now. Back up to the top of the hill.